Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to turn this into this and then add that to a YouTube thumbnail so that you can have a better click rate and better first impression on your audience. Before we get started, the program that I am using today is called GIMP. It is a free download. I will link it in the description below so that you can find it. But it is free and it is a alternative tool to Photoshop that you see a lot of major content creators cre using. So let's get started here. First thing I'm going to do once I have GIMP downloaded, I'm going to open up the picture file. I'm going to go to File, Open. I'm going to find the picture that I want. And I'm going to go to the image and I'm going to add actually I'm going to go to layer and I'm going to add transparency and I'm going to add an alpha channel. This will allow me to delete the background into empty space so there will be nothing back there. OK, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this magic wand tool here and I'm going to just start selecting around me and hitting control X. Control X is a shortcut for cut. And so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting out the background. You'll notice that I'm doing this here rather quickly. I don't like that messy uh, closet in the background, right? And so you can get completely rid of it. Um, if it has some sort of like interaction with your actual shirt, don't click it. I'll show you what you can do here in just a little bit. But you'll notice if it's, it's covering or if it's... Um, I guess forming the edge right around your clothing line really easily then just use this tool because it's it's the best tool it's the fastest tool that you can use here and then we will once we get I wouldn't do all of this I can show you a quick way here in just a second but just get a nice outer edge around your character that's all you're looking for is a nice outer edge around your character so I'm looking here and I'm thinking we've got most of it taken out already and now what I'm going to do, you can kind of see how that's interacting with my clothing line a little bit. So I, I will do that manually. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the eraser here, the eraser tool. And I am going to make sure that this will erase the background, which it is not. I'm going to make sure that this will erase the background. I think it's not erasing the background because I have the magic tool selected. And this program takes a little bit. If you have something selected, the only thing that you can erase is what is selected, right? So what I usually do is I just take this little rectangle tool and I just kind of like click off to the side. And then I take the eraser tool. Now you'll notice that I can interact with anything on my picture and once you have that i would just zoom in to like 200 percent. look at that mean mug and face there really quickly and then what i would do is i would just trim a nice outer shell around your character there it could be whatever whatever image you're doing um it could be a picture of you it could be just a transparent picture that you're uh an image that you're wanting to make transparent either way whatever it is you just need to make a nice trans like a nice uh I guess edge around your character so we'll do that here really quickly it won't take too long i'm just gonna erase some of that there whoops i messed up so i'm gonna hit Control z undo super easy and i will keep just going around the edge of my character here making sure that we have everything i this little gray background that it um erases into you really have to be uh, cognizant of um, what is actually there and what is not because a lot of times you'll get these speckled little dots once you Add your image onto the other image It just means that like you didn't delete all of the pixels that you were looking to delete and the image is not uh, The background is not completely deleted and you're overlapping like pixels onto your image on your thumbnail, so Let's continue here just a little bit. I think we got almost everything I'm going to do a quick check around me really quick, and it's looking good. It's looking good. Um, looking good here. Monitoring the edge, monitoring the edge, mean mug, mean mug. Just going to trim this because I can. It'll make it easier here, maybe just in a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom back out, and I'm going to get the rectangle tool, and I'm going to do four cuts. You'll notice the first cut. I am just like going to go to my innermost part of the picture, and then I'm going to hit control X for cut. Boom. Make sure you get all of it out of the corner. And then I'm going to go and just keep cutting here. I said I was going to do it in four cuts, but there was some overlap there. So I'm going to make sure that I cut out all of this with the rectangle tool, right? I'm, I'm erasing the entire background. I'm going to take this little corner here. I'm going to make sure that I erase everything on the top fifth of the picture and i bring this back around here 
and I'm just cutting out all of the major pieces on the rest of this image here, okay? So now once we have this done, all we have to really do, and I, I can see that I, looks like I cut something out here, but whatever, we can use that on the edge of, I think I cut my shoulder out, didn't I? Bummer. I can control Z and look for where that cut was. Right there is where it was. I wasn't paying good enough attention. Detail oriented. Why is that? Silly me. Okay, so now that we've cut all of this out and around our character here with this tool, with the rectangle tool, and I, I like this because I don't have to literally comb the entire screen full of like pixels. I can literally just like erase an entire section. So now that I have this, what we're gonna look to do now is create this nice little outer edge. Now I did this one on Photoshop with a different uh, tool, but you can do this on GIMP as well. It's really not overly difficult. So um, what I'm going to do on GIMP here is I'm going to add a layer to the image. So I'm going to right click over in layers. I wanna make sure layers is selected right here. And then it will show me every single layer that I have. And I can erase layers if I need, right? And when I'm gonna right click and I'm going to hit new layer, and I'm just gonna type in shadow or whatever you want it to be. And we'll mess with these settings here in just a second. Uh, and I'm gonna bring shadow down to the bottom. So I like to look at this as like a canvas and I'm gonna lay the shadow under my actual picture. So I might want my picture to sit on top of my shadow. Once I have that, I'm just gonna go get the paint tool and I'm going to go uh, maybe get like this little black smudge here and I'm gonna be really careful about, you can pick a color right here, right? So I can pick a nice, uh, I think Trig would look good with a nice little pink outer edge around him, okay? And then I would just create a nice even pattern all the way around the outside of your character. all the way around. You'll notice that this is at 100% opacity and we can turn that down if we really want to. So now that I have this nice pink semi even, looks fairly even to me. This will separate you from the actual thumbnail, right? And then what we'll need to do now is just right click the shadow and look at the edit layer attributes and you can actually turn the opacity of this image down. Now I haven't found a way to actually preview this before you click okay. You just gotta click okay and kind of test out some things. So you'll notice now I have this not see all the way through. It's a little bit transparent is what it is. So I have this nice little pink image right here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to export it. So I'm gonna take this file and you must export this as a PNG. If you export it as a JPEG, and I'll show you how here in just a second, I'm just gonna go to my messy downloads folder that I literally dump every single like month, okay? And it's gonna save it as a file. And so I'm gonna save this. Notice it's gonna try and save it as a JPEG, and I wanna save it as a PNG. So I'm just gonna call this thumbnail dot PNG. So what it's doing, your GIMP program will recognize that it is a PNG file and it's going to save it as a PNG file. I'm gonna hit export, boom. If you don't save it as a PNG, you're gonna notice that the background back here is entirely white and not cut out, okay? So you really need to be adamant about saving it as a PNG. Now that we have this file, we can go to our thumbnail here. And what I like to use is Canva. You could use Photoshop, you could use a bunch of different things. Canva is a free online, um, I guess, I don't even know, what is it, a graphic, graphic design kind of thing. Software, online software. And so now what we have here is, is you can do this a bunch of different ways. You could hit upload media, device. I'm gonna go find the thumbnail that we created. Bada bing, bada boom. Sometimes this file is too large on Canva. You'll notice it's giving me this red like triangle here. So what I can do is just go to a tiny PNG. I'm gonna go image, compressor. And I go to tiny PNG, I take this file, and sometimes it's just, 
I don't even know why I need to do this on Canva sometimes, but I do. Okay, and then I'll re-download this file and then I'll re-upload it to Canva. For some reason, Canva doesn't like when you make something PNG, but my way around it is to literally just upload it on Tiny PNG and it seems to work, poof. Okay, now I can take this and you'll notice that that transparent layer separates you from your actual background a little bit. Now maybe pink wasn't the best choice for this one, but you see what it's doing here, okay? So we are using a free software, GIMP, to mimic some of the things that you can do on Photoshop fairly easily. Once you get your thumbnail here, what I would do is have a, a image of you or some sort of um, character that is in your game that is, um, I guess, creating some sort of expression, some sort of like eye-catching expression. You'll notice the, guy in Arma, notice the guy in Arma 3 here, he's kind of like, what the hell? You know what I mean? He's kind of peeking at you. And and so um, then I would have some sort of like, you have your main title on YouTube. And so then what I would do is make sure that you have some sort of like secondary title in your thumbnail because people read what they're gonna watch and then they look at the thumbnail. And so you don't want them to say the exact same thing. You want your title to be something grabbing as something that will help the YouTube algorithm. And then you want your thumbnail to kind of like catch your reader or catch your viewer, you know what I mean? And so you'll, you'll put something along the lines of this. I personally, on all of my videos and where I'm playing a game or what I have started doing is put the game logo that I am playing up at the top left. It's just something that I like to do so that people, when they view a video, they know what game we're playing today. And it's right from that logo. And then make sure you have some sort of image. Now, what I did is since I was playing Arma 3, I literally just went to uh, Google Images and typed in Arma 3. Boom. Images. And you'll see one of the first things I found was that image that is actually not showing up. But you can literally go grab any of these. They are just they're out there. Right. And just pull one of these off of the Internet and throw it in your thumbnail. GG's easy. Right. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully this allows you to put together some sort of a clickable thumbnail or, or allows you to have the tools to get a little bit more creative in your thumbnail so that your click rate is increased and your interactions go up on YouTube. Thank you again. If this helped like maybe throw a sub if, it, if you want more content. I do a lot of battlefield. I do a lot or I'm going to be doing a lot of battlefield. I do a lot of other types of videos, but I had, I had a good friend uh, reach out and uh, ask for this type of video. So hey, so I will catch you guys soon. Peace.